Meghan the animal lover puts her hatred of blood sports aside as she joins royals, including Kate as relations thaw further, for Boxing Day shooting feast. The Duchess of Sussex joined Prince Harry and members of the royal family for a traditional shooting lunch yesterday, despite claims that she opposes blood sports. Meghan, 37, who is expecting her first child in spring, arrived for the Cold Cuts Boxing Day feast after her husband, Prince Harry had spent the morning bagging pheasants with his father, Prince Charles, and brother, Prince William. She was accompanied by the Duchess of Cambridge in another sign of solidarity between the two women after weeks of reports about their undoubtedly awkward relationship. The merry party took place at Wood Farm, the five-bedroom farmhouse where Prince Philip spends much of his retirement. A Sandringham insider said, the men went out as usual for the shoot after a hearty breakfast. A buffet is laid out of kedgeree, bacon and eggs, cereals and toast to set them up for the day. It's cold trudging across the muddy field so you need plenty of sustenance. In years gone by the Queen and the royal wives would often be seen following along, picking up pheasants, partridges and the occasional duck. Her Majesty was often photographed wringing the neck of injured birds, much to the annoyance of animal welfare groups, but at 92. Those days have long gone. Pregnant Meghan stayed inside in the cold during the morning session, while Kate remained at Anmer Hall, her ten-bedroom house on the estate, looking after her three children, George, Charlotte, and Louis. But at lunchtime the Merry Wives of Windsor were all driven to Wood Farm to be reunited Meghan travelled in a Range Rover with the Queen and Prince Philip, 97 who missed church on Christmas Day. A buffet was laid out at Wood Farm of cold meats, hot sausages, soup and salads, with spirits and tea to warm up the shooters, which this year also included Prince Andrew and, for the first time, his son-in-law Jack Brooks Bank. Princess Eugenie joined her new husband and the others for lunch. The insider said, there is a special derobing room on the side of the house and they all go in there and take off their muddy clothes and boots. Then they go into a side room which is specially designed for shooting parties where they toddle around in their socks helping themselves to lunch. The whole thing is incredibly relaxed and everyone is normally in a great mood. Although he can't shoot anymore Prince Philip loves being there and so does the Queen. She will be delighted that Kate and Meghan have sorted out their problems and that the year has ended on a high with the whole family in harmony. After lunch the men continued shooting while Meghan and Kate returned to Sandringham for tea with the Queen and Prince Philip. It's believed Harry and Meghan departed from Norfolk last night, presumably to spend time with her mother, Doria Ragland, as did William and Kate, who are expected to spend some time with Kate's family in Berkshire. Earlier this month it was wrongly claimed that the animal-loving American had banned her new husband from taking part in blood sports which she has always opposed. But as the Mail revealed yesterday, Harry had every intention of taking part. Harry has been shooting at Sandringham since he was 12 having been taught by Prince Charles as a young child and has become a crack shot, killing deer, wild boar and even a water buffalo, as well as pheasant and grouse. The idea that Meghan had banned him from taking part stemmed from the fact that the former actress, who once designed a pair of vegan leather trousers as part of a clothing range, has previously described herself as a principled animal lover who refuses to promote fur and once described herself in an interview as being a vegan during the week. But sources close to the couple have said this couldn't be further from the truth, and pointed out that even if the Duchess, who adopted two dogs from a welfare shelter in Canada, did advocate wearing ethically made clothes, for example, she has always openly eaten meat. Her former lifestyle blog, The Tig, was full of recipes for her favorite meat-based meals, including boar ragu, and Harry proposed as they cooked a roast chicken dinner. Meghan has never had an issue with Harry shooting, as it is something he has done for many years, the source said. It is completely untrue to say she has banned him from anything, particularly this. Harry couldn't attend last year's shoot as he had to drive to London for work. A second source said that Harry had always maintained shooting is a sustainable field sport and his stance hasn't changed, he has even acquired a black Labrador puppy to train as a gun dog. Former royal chef Darren McGrady recently revealed that Harry's mother, Princess Diana, 
was against blood sports but allowed her sons to take part in family traditions and dubbed her son the Killer Whales. He tweeted, Princess Diana was against blood sports. She killed the stag, a reference to how she once went deer stalking at Balmoral, because they wanted me to. What is it with this family that they love killing things? As the boys were hunting rabbits at Windsor, I remember her saying in the kitchen at Kensington Palace. In 2004 Harry was photographed smiling triumphantly as he crouched over a fallen water buffalo, rifle in hand. He killed the one-ton water beast on a hunting trip in Argentina during a gap year trip to South America. Will William and Kate Sean Eden for Prince George? Duchess Moles sending future king to her old school, the less traditional 12,600 pounds a term Marlborough. The Duchess of Cambridge is considering sending Prince George to her alma mater Marlborough College, friends say. She and Prince William are said to have discussed enrolling their eldest at the 12,605 pounds a term boarding school rather than Eton, where his father and uncle went. George, of course is only five years old and the couple will not decide on his future education for years to come. He is a pupil at Thomas's Battersea, a 6,158 pounds a term co-educational school in southwest London, where he can stay for another eight years. Both Marlborough and 13,556 pounds a term Eton take full-time boarders from the age of 13. Friends say the couple are deliberating a less traditional educational route for the future king than previous heirs. Although Wiltshire-based Marlborough is one of Britain's top boarding schools, it prides itself on being less of a hothouse than its rivals. It seeks a mixed ability intake, although results are still good and 10% of pupils go to Oxbridge. Eaton sends a quarter to Oxbridge, latest figures show. Kate and her siblings, Pippa and James Middleton were Marlborough boarders and adored their time there. All three excelled, particularly at sport, with the Duchess representing the school at hockey, netball, athletics and tennis. The jaw-dropping facilities include an observatory and swimming pool with a movable floor to change its depth. Kate left in July 2000 with A-levels in chemistry, biology and art, before going to St Andrews where she met William. A friend said Eaton was still a possibility for George. Given its proximity to Windsor, William and Harry would often pop over for tea with the Queen. The friend added, William and Catherine surprised many with their choice of Thomas's Battersea for George over more traditional royal schools, but picked it because they felt it was the right fit for him. They are very keen to allow George to spread his wings as a child and won't ever do what people expect them to do when it comes to their children. Eaton hasn't been ruled out, but they have talked at length about Marlborough as an option, and the smart money is on George going there instead. Established in 1843 to educate the sons of clergy, in 1968 Marlborough became the first of the traditional boys' schools to admit girls into the sixth form. It houses 930 pupils and 280 acres of grounds. Alumni include Sir John Betjeman, Crystal Berg, Samantha Cameron, and Princess Eugenie. In 2008, Eugenie was reprimanded after being caught frolicking naked in Marlborough's grounds at the end of term. A royal source said at the time, it was nothing more than hijinks at the end of term in May. Tatler rates Marlborough highly and praises not just its excellent exam results but its strong pastoral care. Single mother who snapped famous photo of the Fab Four enjoys a chinwag at Sandringham with pregnant Meghan, who hints that she's nearly there. The single mother who took the now famous photo of the Fab Four on Christmas Day at Sandringham has done it again. Karen Anvil, 40, from Norfolk, shot to fame after capturing William, Kate. Harry and Meghan walking to church last year and claims to have raked in £40,000 from the snap. And she was back to her old tricks again this week, snapping the royal family walking to St Mary Magdalene Church, and even having a chin wag with the pregnant Duchess of Sussex, who hinted that she is nearly there. In one frame Meghan, who is expecting her first child with Prince Harry next spring, can be seen smiling broadly as she chats to the waiting crowds. Recalling her brief conversation with the former actress this week, Karen said, I said congratulations on your baby and she said, thank you. I then asked her if she was excited and she said yes we are, we're nearly there as she cradled her bump. 
I told her to enjoy every moment as being a mother is the best feeling. She smiled said thank you, and moved on. She even managed to recreate last year's Fab Four photo, albeit with an oblivious Prince of Wales obscuring Harry and Meghan from view. M. Zanville was one of hundreds who braved the cold to get a glimpse of the royal family as they walked to church on the Sandringham Mistate in Norfolk on 25th of December last year. After screaming to attract attention, M. Zanville, who had two jobs at the time, snapped a candid picture of the Fab Four that was quickly distributed to publications around the world, and has subsequently helped her rake in £40,000. Over the last year, Royalties have brought M. Zanville a regular monthly income of between £600 and £6,000, and she said she's earned enough money to clear her debts, take a year off work and do up her council house. Describing the experience as like a lottery win, M. Zanville, of Norfolk, told the BBC, The biggest change for me was that it was so nice to go shopping at Tesco and not be worried about whether I've got the cash in the bank. One of the first purchases she made was a bed, having slept on a mattress on the floor for 18 months. M. Zanville had been waiting outside the church with daughter Rachel in the hope of catching a glimpse of the royals on their way in. Photographers from around the world jostled for position to capture a photo of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge with the then newly engaged Harry and Meghan, but it was M. Zanville who trumped them all. By screaming like a fangirl. M. Zanville was able to draw looks from both Kate, 36, and Harry, 34, who are both smiling staring straight at her lens in the shot. Meanwhile William, 36, and Meghan, 37, are striding ahead with broad smiles on their faces. She uploaded the photo and by 5 p.m. that day it had gone viral. It has since been sold to publications in countries around the world, with requests from Japan, the U.S., Canada. Spain and Italy all coming through. In a tweet earlier this year, M. Zanville told how she had spoken to Prince Harry about the photo when she met the royal during a walkabout in Birmingham. She wrote, got to speak to Meghan today. Also shook Prince Harry's hand and asked him if he liked the Christmas photo. He said he hoped I made lots of money from it. I'm absolutely buzzing. The proud mother previously said some of the money will go towards her daughter's education, 